A major social media outage today, leaving millions of people in the dark. You probably noticed Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp down for several hours today. Fox 10's Jennifer Martinez joins us live with an update. Jennifer? Well, Christina, the cyber expert that I spoke to earlier today tells me that the last time this happened, they were able to fix the problem fairly quickly. The problem is now, because of the pandemic, many people are working from home. If you were wondering, it wasn't just you. A worldwide outage left millions of people refreshing their pages only to see the same posts pop up. Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp down for most of the day. Ken Colburn with Data Doctor says it appears to have been an infrastructure issue. It's a little technical, uh, but it has to do with what's called DNS servers. And this is basically the, the traffic cops of the Internet. So when you type a web address in, so if you type in Facebook.com, there's actually some infrastructure that converts that into the proper numbers and then routes you to the website. So the information that allows you to get to Facebook right now is, is dis has disappeared. It's, it's been removed. Um, and it, it's, it sounds nefarious, but everything that we're seeing suggests that there was a misconfiguration. The outage came as the state celebrated Cybersecurity Month. Arizona Department of Homeland Security Director weighs in. Of whether that's an internal configuration issue or not, and I'm sure that it is, I believe that, but it highlights the vulnerabilities and the dependencies that we have on our daily lives on technology and how fast that can be taken down. Could be an internal error, it could be externally sometimes that a criminal hacker or nation state or hacktivist comes after those applications, but what it highlights is how vulnerable we are and how much we rely on the technology. Now, late this afternoon, the apps are now back up and running. And experts say that many people, including businesses and influencers, lost a lot of money. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.